Hello dance teachers! Welcome to the Dance to Learn YouTube channel. My name is Jessica Strong and if you are looking for dance teacher tips, tricks, and advice, you've come to the right place and I encourage you to subscribe and turn on your notifications so you never miss a video. Today I have a different kind of video for you. I am going to be unboxing the Move and Bloom box, which was created by Maria Hanley, and you may recognize her from the popular dance teacher blog, Maria's Movers. And I am so excited to dive into the Move and Bloom box and share it with all of you. All right, I'm gonna open it up, let's see. Right. So I'm just going to kind of pull things out uh, and see what we have. So the first thing we have, some notes. And this note is from Maria herself. Oh my goodness, it's so cute. It has her name on it and everything. So this note says, Jessica, thank you so much for your support with Move and Bloom. I look forward to working together more this year and I hope your students love the props love Maria. I am sure that they will love the props. All right, so in this box, I have two super nice laminated sheets. Now, if you know me, if you've been following me for a while, you know that I love protecting my digital downloads and all of the visual aids I use. I either laminate them or I put them in a big binder and sheet protectors because I don't want to have to print stuff all the time. So thank you, Maria, for thinking of laminating these very smart she knows she's a, she's a dance teacher she knows so this is just this first page here are ideas for the props in my bloom box and this box was created for you around your theme may i dance in the garden so now this video is not sponsored i actually paid full price for this box and signed up for the move and bloom subscription so not sponsored i just Maria and I have been connected to each other for a really long time and I was so excited when I heard about this. So I am just doing this because I love props and I'm all about this business and I, this idea, I think it's great. So what I did was I went to her website and I ordered a custom box and I sent her my theme and my theme for the month of May was May I Dance in the Garden and I figure I do, I do so many things repeated and I have Princess Camp coming up that's gonna have flowers and butterflies and all sorts of things so I can use these props really any time of the year. So uh, that's why I wanted to order a May box for myself. So the first thing she gave me is a kaleidoscope. Let me see if I can find those. Okay, so here are the kaleidoscopes. Oh my gosh, she even put them in a nice little bag. She actually talked about the kaleidoscope on our podcast and I have never thought about using a kaleidoscope before but how cool oh wow i can see 10 of you guys <laughs> but how fun is this so let's see what her suggestion is for the kaleidoscope let's see now you can use it as a telescope and what can you see i see i see all of you there's about 15 of you um Second tip is split your class in half and assign each dancer a partner. Ask one dancer in the pair to dance and the other partner to watch through the kaleidoscope. What do your dancers observe when they watch their partner dance? How fun is that? Then it says ask dancers to move close and far away from each other looking through the kaleidoscope. So that's really a great uh, idea for like spatial concepts, moving near and far and also even our depth perception. I just did a post recently on the importance of teaching depth perception. So check that out on my Instagram. Then it says, spin it slowly around as you look through it and look at the lines on the outside of the kaleidoscope. What do you notice about them? So if I turn them, they move. So super cute, I love the kaleidoscope. A couple things that I would probably do with these is maybe have all of the kids make like their own fun butterflies, like maybe small little butterflies and have them look at the butterfly wings through the kaleidoscope as a fun little craft idea. So that's just something I would personally add to that prop. Okay, ooh, let's see, she gave me some butterflies. Let's find those. Oh my gosh, I am loving the bags. Again, she knows. 
I'm a mobile dance teacher, and when I have to travel to 15 dance schools, like, it's all about bags and all about having enough for everybody. Oh my gosh, these are really neat butterflies. They are so colorful. So yeah, like I was just saying, I would probably have my kids hold up this kaleidoscope. Oh my gosh. I wish you guys could see these colors. It is so neat. That's fun. That's a fun idea right there. Loving the butterflies and they're all different colors. These look like they're handmade. These are so neat. I'm gonna have to ask her where she got these. I really like them a lot. They're all different. Look, we even have rainbows and flowers. How super pretty are those? All right, so with the butterflies, she says twist the butterflies at the top. Oh, and they fly. Let them go and watch them fly. So what directions did they travel in the air? Does yours fly up high or did it fly down low? And then ask your dancers to fly like a butterfly and then explore these with a free dance. Okay, let's see. I see some frogs. Oh yes, that's the next thing. So let's, let's get the frogs out. Again, everything is in these nice bags. Oh my goodness. I know these frogs. I played with these all the time when I was a kid and they have the little tab and you can watch them jump. Let's see. Whoa. And you know what? Even in my age, they're still super fun to play with, okay? All right, so let's see, flipping frogs. Ask dancers to use their finger to touch the back of the frog to make it jump. How high does it jump? How far does it jump? Stay on your feet and bend down. See how high you can jump like a frog. Put the frogs in the line and do frog jumps over them. So cute, oh my gosh. I love those. And I am thinking about summer camps right now because they are around the corner. And how much fun would these be for like a Tiana camp? Yes, a Tiana camp all the way. Okay, so, ooh, I have caterpillars. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. Wow, there's a lot of them. Ooh, and they feel so nice. It's like a plushie in a bag. All right, so let's pull out one caterpillar. Let's see what we got in here. Maria, this is a great box. She does awesome stuff. She is so, so smart. Oh my gosh, these feel, I can't even. Like, you know how when you touch something and it just feels just, there's just so much fun tactile play with this. I just can't even. All my tactile learners are gonna be crazy about these, these caterpillars. All right, <laughs> I can't stop touching it myself. So, stretchy caterpillars. Stretch the caterpillar as far as you can and then let it go. Woo! Oh my gosh, that's so much fun. All right. Then, ooh, they stretch their body parts as far as they can, like a nice core distal stretch. I like that. Drop the caterpillar onto the floor and see what shape it makes, and then ask your dancers to make that shape with their body. I'm gonna drop mine on the table. He's kind of curvy, curvy caterpillar. Ooh, he's in a U shape. I would maybe do a downward dog position for that. Super fun. All right, let's see. Crawl the caterpillar on your body parts. Like, let's have them crawl on our arms. Let's see if I can do it. Oh, that's so amazing. All right. Crawl the caterpillar on your body parts. Sing or say this little ditty. Crawl like a caterpillar, crawl like a caterpillar, land on your head or another body part. Crawl like a caterpillar, crawl like a caterpillar, land on your elbow. Super fun, some nice body shapes. So I love that this box also thinks about dance concepts and other, other ways to play everything. What I love about these, she gave me a ton of these. I might even like lay these out in a big obstacle course and create some different pathways, like a straight pathway, curvy pathways, and then have them maybe crawl like a caterpillar. Just some other ways that I would explore that. Um, I could lay them out in a line and we could leap over the caterpillars. We could make cool shapes, like maybe diamonds or squares and do different type, types of dance moves in there. These are so fun. Oh my gosh, they even have little faces. Super cute. Okay, so I think that's all that's in the box. I have a QR code. I don't know what the QR code does, 
I will find out. All right, you guys, I just found out what the QR code is for. This is actually going to take you to a Spotify playlist with songs all about the garden, the butterflies, the caterpillars, the frogs. Super cute. So you'll also get a Spotify playlist with your Move and Bloom box. All right, dance teacher friends. So that's a peek inside the Move and Bloom box. My personal favorites are the butterflies along with the kaleidoscope. I'm really excited to have my dancers do a fun visual activity and look at the butterfly wings through the kaleidoscope. I'm just so excited for them to explore all of these super fun and unique props. And if you are interested in the Move and Bloom box as well, I do have a 10% off code for you to receive 10% off your first month's subscription. So just head on over to the website in the link down below and insert the promo code dance to learn 10 and you can get 10% off your first month's subscription. All right, dance teachers, that's all I have for you today. But if you enjoyed today's video, please let me know by giving it a thumbs up. Also, let me know in the comments down below which of the props were your favorite out of the unboxing and how you would use those props in your dance classes. Now, before you leave today, it's time for another subscriber giveaway. If you are new to the channel, every video I spin the wheel of names and pick one lucky YouTube subscriber to win one month free of our Dance Educator membership. Now this membership gives you access to all of our done for you lesson plans and digital downloads available on our learn.dancetolearnuniversity.com website, which I have linked in the description down below in case you are also looking for lesson plans for your studio. Okay, so I am gonna put the wheel of names up we're gonna spin the wheel and see who our winner is. Congratulations, Desiree Graham. Please be sure that you reach out to me within seven days of this video posting to claim your prize. Just send me an email at info at dance to learn .co, and I will get you set up with one month of that membership free. And if you would like to be entered into our wheel of names for your chance to win, all you need to do is click the red subscribe button down below as well as the notification bell so that you never miss a video and be sure that your youtube channel settings are set to public so i can see who has subscribed and can add your name into the wheel okay my dance teacher friends that's all i have for you on today's video i really hope you enjoyed it and i hope that you have a wonderful week happy dancing bye